Okay, YouTube. All right, now this is uh, the uh, series I'm doing on the wearable top quilt uh, that I kind of teased you with before I went on vacation. Uh, this was uh, started in part uh, from a uh, post that Sergeant Rock made at hammockhangers.net uh, about a challenge to uh, come up with a low-cost, 40-degree insulation system. Top quilt and under quilt had to cost less than $80. Now, this is my attempt at, uh, at trying that. Uh, and depending on how you look at it, I'm either successful or unsuccessful on it. Uh, I got $80 for of the Costco down quilts uh, in, involved in this. Uh, whether or not you count the cost of uh, all the shock cord and snaps and everything that are involved, uh, depends on whether or not I went over the $80 or not. Uh, I kind of say, I got this crap laying around here, I'm not going to count it, but uh, if you don't have a vast arsenal of DIY stuff, well, you might have to cost that cotton. Anyway, uh, what we're going to build here is a uh, versatile piece of gear that doesn't require any sewing. All, all of this Costco uh, down quilt stuff we've done so far uh, has involved sewing and uh, people who don't know how to sew or haven't gotten a thread injector yet that may feel a little left out, this is to kind of help them. Uh, it uh, is an adaptation of an uh, underwoobie, uh, a little uh, top quilt, under quilt, uh, shelter thing that I designed a few years ago. Uh, and uh, what it does is it, it, it adapts to three different things. A cape to wear to keep warm, a top quilt, and a booster for your under quilt that snaps in so that you can change your under quilt from the 60 degree 50 degree uh, rating that the Costco quilt has, the DIY Costco under quilt has, boost it maybe to 40, or probably to 40, maybe a little lower than that. Uh, what you're going to need for this project uh, is one of these, one of these, and a whole bunch of these. And those are snaps. You're going to say, Sarge, where do I get those things? Okay. One of the things you can do is you can go to uh, Hobby Lobby, go to the, uh, the uh, sewing section, over there where they've got all the sewing tools, and look for one of these. And go uh, right in the same general area, look for some of these. Now, one of the problems with DIY is you've got to start Googling for stuff named Babyville Boutique. Okay? Get used to it. Get over it. All right? Uh, now, now, let me tell you a little bit about how the, uh, the video series is set up. Uh, I've got three separate videos. One to build the cape, one that will turn that cape into a top quilt, and one that will turn the cape slash top quilt into a booster for your under quilt. Uh, and I do this because uh, it's kind of complicated, even though it's incredibly simple to actually do, it's kind of complicated to explain. Uh, so I've broken it up into three separate chunks. Uh, you can stop at any time you want to. If all you want is that cape to wear around the campfire, all you got to do is build the cape. If you want to transform it into a top quilt, transform it into a top quilt and stop there. Uh, if you want something to snap into your under quilt, get a few extra degrees out of it, and go all the way. Uh, now the last thing I'll tell you is about uh, the cape itself, of what we're doing right now. The cape as top quilt. Uh, one of the best strategies for keeping warm in the winter time is to pre-warm your insulation system. Now a lot of people do that. They, they put some boiling water in an algae bottle, toss it in the hammock, uh, get it all sealed up and let that 
hot air, that hot heat from that Nalgene bottle fill up the top quilt and the under quilt. Dang good idea. Uh, another way you can do that is to uh, take your top quilt and put it on you and wear it around for 30 minutes to an hour uh, and let your body fill it with hot air. So that's one of the things we're going to do with this. It's one of the things you can do uh, with this is wear it around the, uh, the campsite and then snap it into a top quilt, put it in your hammock, and you get a pre-warmed quilt. Okay, enough of this talk. Uh, we're going to go right to the build, get yourself your snap pliers, get yourself your poker, and get yourself some snaps. And then uh, sit down, watch this video. Okay? All right. Okay, now, uh, there's an old story about, you know, the, the question is, uh, how do you eat an elephant? And the answer is one bite at a time. And that's what we're going to do here with this. We're going to take this one bite at a time. Uh, snap placement is critical. So we're going to, first what we're going to do is we're going to locate the snaps for the wearable part of this. Where we're going to be able to wear it like a cape. And if you'll notice I've got two different colored snaps. I've got these dark brown ones and I got these light tan ones. And I do that to, so I can keep track of what I'm doing while I'm building it. Okay? Uh, you can use any color snap you want. Just make sure you keep track of it. Now the first thing you want to do is these dark brown ones. You've got one on the corner here that it's located one inch in either direction from the corner. And then you have two additional snaps located in the center of each of these five inch panels, two and a half inches over, and one inch from the edge. On this side of the quilt, you want to locate three male snaps. And then you want to take another snap another male snap but place the male edge of it on the opposite side of the quilt okay okay now on this side you're going to do the same thing but they're all going to be female snaps one two three female snaps again one inch from the edge at the corner in the center of your five inch panel, one inch from the edge for these two, okay? And then in the center of this one, one inch from the edge, another female with the female end on the opposite side of the quilt. With me so far? Okay. Okay, now on the opposite end of the quilt from where you put all those other snaps. So you're going to put one snap on the third panel up, one inch over from the hem, and one inch up from the edge. On the side that you put the female snaps, you're going to put one male snap. Over on the other end of the quilt, I don't know if you can see that, but there's another one over there in the same location, but that's a female snap. Male snap on the same side that you put the females. Female snap on the side that you put the males. Locate the uh, edge that you put the multiple snaps on and have the edge that has the button side on it, put that to the outside and put it over your shoulder like this, centering it over your neck. Then snap those three snaps together. Okay, 
Now you should have on the outside the male and female sides of the ones that are on the opposite side. Reach down, take the snap that you put three panels up, snap it in place, on the other side, and kind of hitch it in the middle. It'll take a little bit of practice. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, you can see that this is kind of floppy. Uh, I wouldn't use it, I wouldn't be the guy who puts the logs on the fire, if you know what I mean, because these group, and you're not entirely sure where they're going to be. But if you're sitting down, uh, you can hunker and get warm. Uh, just be careful around open flame with, with, with any kind of blanket. Okay? But if you've got to this point, you're ready to go on to the next, which is to turn this thing in to a top quilt. Okay, well, there you have it. It's actually pretty easy uh, if you follow along. Uh, go get yourself a cup of coffee or something to drink, uh, have some lunch, and then come back and watch the video on how to turn uh, this thing into a top quilt. Okay? Alright.